What is up? What is up, everyone? Thank you so much for joining us this week. I'm sure everyone is excited about this week because we are going to be talking about the uh, first big update that's coming up in September. How is everyone doing? Doing great. It's Friday. Super excited. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it, right, guys? Um, so in our previous Facebook post, we talked about uh, PvP and some Coliseum stuff. So let's go ahead and show you what kind of things you can get in there and everything. Go into the shop, go into the Aldor Coliseum. Uh, Aldor Coliseum will have two different kinds of matches. You'll have a 3v3 and a 5v5. And it's going to be um, cross-server. So you can go and punch somebody on another server. So it's going to be totally fun. Uh, you're going to work your way up through the ranks. So you can see there's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and master. Uh, you'll earn these... Um, medals as you win and play, or you can buy some of these stuff for uh, silver. Um, so you can see some of these sets are, the, like, you've seen these sets before in other PvP stuff, um, so Commander's Termination. Uh, we do have some new stuff that we're going to show. Um, for example, Wrath of Stars is a new set. I have it, and I am going to show you all what it looks like in just a second. Um, the PvP will also be cross-server. Sturgeon Valley and Guardian Canyon will also be cross-server, so that's going to be very exciting for you all. I know a lot of people um, have always wanted to have cross-server battlefields because sometimes you get in queue and you wait and you wait. We hope that this will um, alleviate some of that waiting. What servers count as cross-server? Uh, so servers that count as cross-server will be anyone who's eligible to queue in at the time. As you know, our um, PvP... Uh, things such as the Guardian Valley and Surgeon Valley and Guardian Canyon are only open at certain times. So anyone else um, who is queued in at the time with you can go and uh, see the and, and basically go in and compete. Um, so uh, I mentioned some class items. So let's go ahead and get started. We are introducing uh, some new sets I want to show you. Uh, the first set is called the, the Torture Jewel. Uh, it's a three-piece set. Um, it's really, really good for classes that like critting. Whenever you have a critical basic, atta uh, basic attack, it has a chance to, to deal target to um, the enemy. Uh, and the three-piece set gives you a little bit of healing. So I have it equipped, three set right now. And we're just going to go hit this little target dummy really quick for a few times. And it should pop up once I get a crit. And it's only on basic attack, so... Oh, there it goes, see, right? So there's the damage, and I'm also getting some healing. So that's how um, the Torture Jewel set works. Um, there's a slight little bug in here. <laughs> this is a test server, so some of the stuff is going to be buggy. I'm locked in combat, so I have to jump in and out real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and put on the... Um, Wrath of Star set. So the rest of the Wrath of Star set can be get uh, can be earned through the Elder Coliseum. Uh, the first one just reduces your blessed arrow cooldown. The third one's really fun. Uh, you can interrupt uh, target spell casting um, by rolling into them. I'll show you that in just a second when I go back uh, to the dueling area. And then when you get the fourth blessed arrow cast, you can uh, trigger another attack. So we're gonna go and put in this set. And then we're going to go back. <laughs> you like the torture set? It's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, we're going to show... Um, so every class is going to get a new set through the Alder Coliseum that we will show off. Uh, the Torture Jewel and the next Arc and Crystal will be, I believe, from Heroic Skyblaze. Um, no, Torture is not from the new Coliseum. Torture is a D3 set. So it's going to be from the Team Raids. Um, so we're going to find this poor Mystic over here. We're going to duel him. And then when he casts, um, when he's casting Purifying Blast, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, maybe I go roll backwards. Go and try casting that again in a few seconds. Maybe it'll roll backwards into him so you guys can see that lightning bolt. 
and it interrupts spellcasting. So um, for those who enjoy PvP, it's a great way to shut down healers uh, who are trying to cast and save their team. Then there's also um, the Blessed Arrow part of this uh, set, um, which you can see over here. Uh, cooldown's released, so I'm going to cast Blessed Arrow four times on him. Oh, what is this over here? Double Star Blade. What does it mean? We'll have to figure that out in just a second. Uh, yep, yeah, someone already saw that. Yep, we. I will show you the new Star Blade Volley. I totally know that this has been a thing for many, many people. Um, pew! Look, it's raining. It's raining. So that's that. Um, I'm going to go and fly out and in real quick so I can go and hit the dummy. We'll give this a few seconds. Did I miss any questions? Let me go ahead and see. Um, elaborate. Okay, so the so the 5v5 and the 3v3 um, are both going to be the gear is going to be available through both. Um, you earn uh, medals through participating and winning in the Coliseum. Um, you have to win enough to unlock. So you're gonna, as you win, you're gonna improve your standing from bronze to gold, and then this set starts to unlock over at platinum. So gear normalization. Um, that is something that we are still working on the details. Um, sorry, part of the uh, the chat screen's kind of cut off for me right now. I can't see this. Half over there, so. Um, you can participate as long as it's open. I don't believe there's a cap. Um, we're still working out the details on that. I believe the intention is to not have a cap while it is open. Um, no, your plat three rank from league does not transfer over. Um, so new Starblade Volley. Uh, we're gonna show you what it is. So Starblade Volley has been a um, a skill for many Ranger Scouts that uh, Ranger Scouts that that have been wanting this to be special. Uh, so right now on live Starblade Volley is just kind of meh, you you hit it and then it, it's got a cooldown. So now uh, Starblade Volley has changed so that you can start stacking it. So you're gonna get. Um, extra stacks on it when you use your skills and they can stack up to three times and when you get three times you get when you activate it you're going to throw three star blades so we're going to show you that real quick I know my, my skills aren't optimized or anything I'm using just the default skills because I'm lazy that skill is not ready yet. so here's a double star blade and you're going to throw two and they can crit, That's and then they can go up to three. So you have to keep an eye out for when their cooldown happens. Since that is a cooldown timer, so I'm gonna. I think I hit three, hopefully. Now I got triple. And that's how the new star blade is. So instead of just being a button that you press every single time it's up, it becomes something that you want to work into your rotation. Make sure you hit it when you get three star blades going to maximize the damage that it's going to do. Do it one more time. And I didn't make it. Obviously, if you have more optimized gear or a better rotation than what I have right now, because this rotation probably isn't the best. This is an awful rotation for a scout. Still cooling down. But anyways, you guys get the point. Um, wow, I am not proccing this. <laughs> it hates me. The RNG hates me. Alright. You can still throw Starblade out if you want. It's just not as cool as getting a triple or a double. So that's the new Starblade. Um, 
Hope you enjoyed that, Ranger. We think that this is going to be... Um, we hope that this is going to be something that is better than the current experience for um, Rangers. And we know that it was a thing, and this is something that we're working towards on improving. Um, so I think I saw some people ask about Mystics, right? Did you guys want to see the Mystic set? Totally do that. I'm too lazy to change accounts, so I just hop over to this other one. So the Mystics, I'm going to show off two sets on the Mystics. Um, the first set is going to be what's called Arcane Crystal. This is also a D3 set. Um, Arcane Crystal, uh, D3 set, has two, three pieces as well. Um, it does like a DPS and a heal. So when you cast skills, you get a small chance to summon a crystal. The crystal then releases multiple strikes. Um, and then there's a halo that heals when you have the three set. And then we will also show, I think I have both sets on at the same time. So Arcane Embrace is the set that comes from the Coliseum. Uh, it's similar to um, the Ranger set where you get one skill that gets a cooldown reduction. Uh, you get something that triggers after four times. And then you get uh, some bonus on top of that. Uh, so it deals extra damage to enemy when that triggers if there's only one around. Um, for the healers, or, uh, well actually yeah, for healers or any, any mystic, this is actually really good in PvP. So let me go and change my skills around, because I don't like the setup for what I currently have. We don't want that. Just go ahead and just do Dreadfall, because the cast is cool. Alright, so I will stop DPS and show you what they look like when they trigger. So that's Arcane Crystal. It's going pew 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 right now. I actually don't have a favorite class. Uh, I actually started playing all of them, so um, they're all fun in their own way. Um, so that was Arcane Crystal um, that you just saw. Uh, we're going to go with Arcane Embrace now. So I got to cast Mystic Galaxy four times to trigger it. There's one. That skill's still charging. That skill's still charging. Two. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. That skill's still charging. I had four. So this is Arcane Embrace. So it's kind of this thing where you're heavily discouraging people from staying in melee range of you. Because um, every mystic probably knows that the second you appear over in PvP, everyone's just going to jump right over you. I know, that skill is still charging. So, um, I don't think this skill is quite useless because um, it definitely discourages people from standing around you. So you're going to be fighting them, so it's going to add some extra DPS, which might be all you need to kill someone. Uh, when they're coming after you in PvP. So, you're probably going to be using Mystic Galaxy quite a lot. Uh, any questions about this set? This is also... So, again, it's kind of confusing with Arcane Crystal and Arcane Embrace. Okay, so Arcane Crystal is going to drop in a team raid. And then... Um, the Arcane Embrace is going to drop from the Coliseum. Yes, Stefan, it's going to drop from the Coliseum. Mm. Sorry. All right. And I know we have some warrior players in here, right? We have warrior players. All right, we're going to show the warriors. Warriors. Oh, hey speed. So, yep. Warrior! Roar. Um, so the warrior um, can also get a set in the Colosseum. Um, it's called Ancestor Soul. It's focused heavily around um, Flaming Sigil. Hey Nick, happy birthday! Um, 
So Warriors have Ancestor Soul. It's Flaming Sigil. Uh, I think the big part here is that the Flaming Sigil is going to reduce the casting. Uh, when you cast it, it's going to reduce your Bloodthirst, Gladiator, and Death, and Death Gaze. So these are all the path skills for Warriors. So no matter what spec you're in, um, this is going to be helpful. I can, I, I mean, like, when I tank, sometimes I'll use Flaming Sigil. And I would oftentimes love to have Gladiator Heart up a second early, because that would save me. Um, right, so... Flaming Sigil here will also cause an earthquake and do a uh, damage healing reduction effect. So for warriors who are PvP, that's really good. For PvE, you're just you're gonna love it, or everyone should really like it because you're getting your um, you get your pass skill one second faster. So what it looks like is you get a little extra over here, and then we can we can fire off Death Gaze first, and then when we fire this off, you'll see that it'll go down. Alright, so that's uh, the Warrior set. Um, I personally like Flaming Sigil a lot. It's gonna be good. It'll be fun. Oh, kind of buggy. Um, so we also have some really good um, cosmetics coming up, some quality of life things. So um, gonna go ahead and show you something that I think people might like. Lucky Draw. Um, so in the Lucky Draw, Halloween's coming up, so so I the Torture Jewel and the uh, Arcane Crystal I believe can also drop for Warriors. Um, I just equipped it for the Ranger and the um, Mystic first, so you can still get it. Um, I just don't have it. So what's in the Lucky Draw this time is um, wings. You can get these wings. Um, they're really cute. Let me go ahead and show it off. Look at me, I can fly! I can fly! So that's the, uh, that's the wings. You can kind of fly. I mean, like, if you jump down, you can kind of fly a little bit longer. Alright, so you, if you jump downhill, you, you can fly a little bit longer. Um... And there's some mounts. I mean, this guy's pretty cool, right? What I like is this little bird over here. I didn't know this is when I first was running around with this. This little bird. It's like, it just flies around and it follows you. And when you stop, it lands. Yeah, this is, um... This is this mountain is called Storm Rage Gruder. And uh, the jump is also really fun. Ah Um this is gonna be redeemable in uh, with the next with the next festival event. Uh, you're gonna get festival masks that you're gonna be able to redeem it. But this is um, probably this is gonna be a new mountain that we're come, we're releasing. This is just one of my favorite things to just watch them wrestle each other. Ah! Um, so we did that. Oh, and um, I don't think it's showing, but I believe the devs have confirmed with me that the Voyage Compass, this fancy little thing, is uh, going to be in Lucky Draw. I believe that is going to be in there. Uh, hang on. So the uh, ask me a question. Did I miss it? Pred211 asked me a question. Where... I'm sorry if I missed the question. I missed the question. Um, but the Voyage Compass is a cosmetic. I believe the devs confirmed with me that it will be in Lucky Draw. It's just not in this build right now. So it will be something that you can also get from there. Um, so quality of life improvement, we added a tab on your attribute pages called currencies. So a lot of people, um, oh, 
Champion Trials, um... Oh, Dismantled 4? I have no idea, to be honest. Um... <laughs> Probably not something you want to dismantle. Uh, I don't know. Um, yes, this is. I have. I have 99 million gold because this is a test server, and I can. Uh, I could give myself all the gold. Um, but this will track all of your currencies and your room upgrade tokens all in this one page. Um, no, Aldor medals are not altruism medals. Aldor medals are the medals that you get from participating in the Coliseum. Um, JP, I, that's something that um, I have, uh, like, people have asked about. Not really sure if they're staying around. Right now, they're slated to end on the 20th. So, um, we'll have to see. I know it's something that, um, I know it's something that players would like to keep around. Um, so, we're going to have to see. Um, so, Stefan, the uh, reset that everyone's talking about. Ta-da! Rune reset. Yay, it's happening. It's happening. Um, so, how this works is very simple. Um, I already threw some points into... Just a random point in here. And if I say I messed up, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and uh, pop this thing. I get it back. And it will show you over here what you got back. And then you just hit the upgrade button. And the cost for this right now, um, I know some people are saying it's 66k gold. Um, that information is not correct. Um, this is a placeholder in here. So we, you can find it in here. It does say 66k here, but it's not. It's going to be changed. Um, so this is, um, this is a placeholder. Everything that you see on the server is test server and it could be, um, it could be changed. Um, no, it's going to reset all of your... It's going to reset all of your um, runes. So no matter what you have, when you consume it, it's going to refund everything. Justin, the, uh, the D3 sets are not class uh, specific. So you can get the Arcane Crystal set for the Warriors. You can get the Torture Jewel set for the Warriors. Um, we just didn't show it on the Warrior uh, this time. Because we want to focus more on the, the mechanics of it. Oh, ICC wants to make it 100k. Robots, it should, it should refer to everything. Um, very similar to how the potential potion works. In the equipment chamber, Lamer, you mean... Um, in the trade house? I don't think we're adding thing, anything in there. Yes, the rune reset should refund your um, golems, your golem cast irons. Uh, so that is um, the big things that are coming in updates. So just a quick recap here. We are doing um, cross-server Coliseum. We are doing uh, cross-server battlefields, uh, 3v3, 5v5. Um, the Rangers and their Starblade Volley got a nice buff. We really do hope you enjoy it. Oh my god, am I gonna get it? Nope. I hit the wrong button. I fat fingered it. Um Yeah, 3v3 and 5v5 will be cross server. As you can see, uh where is it? Wait, nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, I believe it's ranking... Over here. Cross server, single server. So, you'll be able to see um, peak group and honor group, which are two groups, 3v3 and 5v5. Um, you'll be able to see which one you're in, and if you're the best on your server, and then best on all the servers that you're doing cross server for. 
so there's no new, no new legendaries this time. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take some questions. Um, now, so to clarify, the D3 sets are not um, exclusive to uh, Rangers and Mystics. You can still get it on a Warrior. Um, I don't know anything about changes in faction PvP at the moment. Um, yeah, so if anyone has any suggestions uh, or comments or things they would like to see in the next stream, feel free to leave us a message on our Facebook or tweet at us or go to our forums. Uh, let us know what you want to see. Um, so I guess that's it for this week. We're really excited about this update. Super excited to see uh, how you all enjoy PvP and everything. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we will see you next week.